So gentle acids. There's a time and a place for strong acids, but I think there's a time and a place for gentle acids too. I'm a lotion P50 fan through and through, but there are just times where maybe I've upped my tretinoin usage a little bit too much and my skin starts to show signs of freaking out. So then I pull back on the tret, but it means I have to pull back entirely on lotion P50 as well. And that's when I would slot in one of these gentle acids. Now, some people just naturally have a little bit more of a sensitized skin type or just prefer not to use strong acids in general. So then this list applies to everybody that just doesn't want to use a strong acid. All of these products I would put in like a slow and steady wins the race type category. And I think you should be able to use most of them pretty regularly without risking irritation. The first one on the list is a pretty new release from Fresh. It's the Lotus AHA Resurfacing Serum. This is a fairly new product in my routine. I haven't used it that long, but it was a bit of like an instant love. It just feels very hydrating and very plumping. I almost don't even notice the exfoliating effect. The serum predominantly uses glycolic acid, which I traditionally can't tolerate that well, but they've raised the pH to, I think it's between four and 4.5 or somewhere there. And because of that raised pH, it just doesn't feel as aggressive as glycolic acid can. It's also blended with a bunch of hydrating ingredients like polyglutamic acid and ectoin, which as if you followed me for a while, you know I'm a big fan of. So having ectoin with an exfoliating serum just makes a lot of sense to me and I wish it would happen more frequently. Plus it has a signature fresh fragrance and just feels really nice on the skin. Like they, they've nailed this texture. I really enjoy using it. In many ways, I just use this as a hydrating serum and I don't even consider that it has an exfoliating effect, but it's probably doing some gentle exfoliation in the background over time. The next one on the list is the Build Skincare A gel. Now this product, although I've put it on this list, I actually use it in my regular routine even if I'm using P50 and Tretinoin. It's always part of my weekly routine regardless. I just think it makes for a gentle option as well. It's a 1% salicylic acid gel that I use at least a few times a week and especially after shaving pretty much every day around my neck. I think 1% is a sweet spot for keeping my pores clear without being too aggressive on the skin, which is why it sort of allows me to use all the other ingredients while still incorporating this one at a few times a week. Salicylic acid can be a little bit finicky to formulate. So if you've noticed, um, a lot of textures can feel quite oily. Um, even the popular ones like the Paula's Choice BHA, it has an oily, like slippy feel that I don't personally enjoy. Definitely not saying those products are bad, but just from a sensorial perspective, I don't like that sensation on my skin. A gel is a super refined texture. It's just cushiony and plush, but it breaks on the skin instantly and absorbs in seconds, but it still leaves behind a little bit of like a silky skin feel. So it just makes my skin feel like immediately smooth and comforted. It's definitely my favorite salicylic acid product that I've come across and one that I love to integrate in my routine quite regularly. The nice thing is that it also layers really well. So it, I can basically throw it around AM, PM on top of anything under anything it just works really well in my routine and just to mention again it works super well as like an after shaving lotion so it's a great one to consider if you shave or any partners family members friends that shave the next gentle acid on the list is cool as a cucumber balancing act this is a fairly new brand that reached out to me on instagram and they sent me a bunch of their products to try and i think they're all really well designed balancing act is an acne product that contains 0.05 percent of salicylic acid but has been blended with a bunch of other acids namely mandelic acid this serum kind of takes like a multi-targeted approach to balancing the skin and just helping with breakouts there's some additional plant extracts like silly marin and a lilac leaf that are known to help with influence and sebum regulation. This also contains some other ingredients like niacinamide and licorice for brightening and even skin tone just to help with the healing process of acne and breakout. Texture is a pretty classic like gel serum texture. Probably the only note is it's fairly pricey. I think it's like $88 USD. But considering how many ingredients they blended together and, it's, and this is like a new small brand, the price point is a little bit more palatable. The next gentle acid is the Chanel La Mousse Clarifiant. Clarifianate. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is a kind of surprising product release for Chanel because it's not really a traditional skincare format. It's an essence toner that they call a lotion to foam, which basically means it's a watery texture in the pump bottle, but it comes out as a foam and then breaks on the skin back into a watery texture. The foam is actually quite useful because it allows very easy application where you don't need to worry about like a pad or anything. You can definitely just use it with your hand. While this is an acid product, Chanel has actually 
opted to use fairly unusual acids or an unusual acid blend. They basically combine tartaric acid with citric acid and it doesn't have any of the classic ones like glycolic, mandelic, even salicylic is absent. Tartaric specifically is known to be very well tolerated so I think this is a great option if you kind of identify as having sensitive skin and that's probably why Chanel chose to use this combo because it could definitely easily be used daily as like a general toner without risking over exfoliation. Tartaric is also known to have antioxidant properties which is a nice boost. To me this feels surprisingly like supremely hydrating. It's even more hydrating than a lot of hydrating serums. It's such a weird sensation because it's supposed to be exfoliating but it's actually super 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 hydrating. It's a great product release. I tend to use it at night because it is so saturating on my skin. I don't really need that much hydration in the daytime. And probably the only thing of note is it does contain a Chanel signature floral fragrance that's quite pronounced so just keep that in mind. The last product I'll mention today is the Jordan Samuel Skin Mandelic Exfoliating Mask. This is a really great mask option that has a super unique texture. Because they've gone with mandelic acid, it's automatically going to be more gentle than some of the glycolic masks around. And the nice thing is they've also blended this with clay. So it's both like a topically exfoliating product, but has more of a purifying action. This blend of clay with mandelic is really cool. Unlike a lot of clay masks around that tend to be quite densely creamy, but then also dry down where it kind of cracks on the skin. This is a very soft gel texture. It almost feels hydrating, it doesn't dry down, and it rinses very easily. It's super unique and they've done an excellent job with it. I think I read somewhere that Jordan kind of designed it with the idea in mind that it would emulate the way a facial might go. So sometimes they apply like a clay mask and an acid mask separately, but in this way you're getting all of those effects in one kind of express but still gentle exfoliating purifying mask. And just to mention again, because it is in this gel texture, it just rinses off much easier. So the kind of downsides of how difficult a clay mask can be to remove are not there with this product. It's a great option to explore if you don't have any intention of incorporating an acid regularly into your routine. You can very much use this just as on a situational basis when you feel like your skin needs it. That's the end of this list. Let me know if you've got any gentle acid favorites and I'll see you in the next video.